Know the difference with Annex Wealth Management? We provide comprehensive investment and retirement planning tailored to our clients' needs. And that ranges from people starting out with Annex Ignite all the way through Annex Private Client and everything in between. Joining me, several members of the Annex team. Let's welcome back Brandon Lehman, Director of Annex Private Client. Welcome. Danny. Also with us, Amy Kiskala, Wealth Strategist and Estate Planning Attorney. Hey, Amy. Hi, Danny. Amy, you are an asset with your background in legacy planning. You're also an attorney, and that comes in really handy with what we're about to talk about, and that is business succession planning, which seems more thoughtful than somebody just up and selling a business. Without sharing too much detail, can you describe some of the types of business succession planning that you've seen over your career? Well, you know, Danny, it is a true fact that 100% of business owners will exit their business at some point. That business succession can take a lot of different flavors. Sometimes it's a sale to a third party, maybe an individual, or we've seen a lot of activity in the private equity space in the last few years. Sometimes you're transitioning to employees, key employees, or an employee stock ownership plan. And and that's a whole other level of complexity with a family business when your family businesses are looking at all the ways to transition that business down to the next generation. I've never heard the 100% stat, but you are right. You know, statistics aren't always correct, but that one is. Brandon, as director of Annex Private Client, you work with clients who are also business owners. And as we work with them, I imagine they might share a business transition as part of the plan. As Amy said, it's 100%, right? That's the time that we put the entire Annex team to work for them. Who is jumping on board? Who? What are the teammates that are working on this? Yeah, obviously, Amy is incredibly involved in that. We look at a lot of our other wealth strategists, the tax team, the investment investment team because that becomes a part of the discussion on but that's I would say that's a little later the original planning that's the financial planning team and the wealth strategist that's going to be your tax team and then Amy and the estate planning team taking a really good look at this and what it's going to mean but we also bring in outside partners and what we mean by that is we're not here to replace their estate planning attorneys their business attorneys their accountants but we start to coordinate everybody and have those discussions what does it look like what does it mean how is it going to impact you we're dealing with one currently right now in a situation where it's like, what is the best path forward? And we lay out the options. We say, this is what we see. But the hardest thing for these folks to do is realize that they are about to monetize something that they poured their entire life into, and it's going to completely change the picture. So that's where these different teammates that we have at Annex come into play because it's giving their advice, their opinion that we see and how it impacts them and what we can do to move forward. We're talking about business succession planning, joined by Brandon Lehman, director of Annex Private Client. Amy Kiskala is a wealth strategist and estate planning attorney at Annex. Amy, thinking back, some of these transitions you've helped guide over your career, there are challenges. What types of challenges? What do you see people encounter as they go down this road? There are a lot of challenges, a lot of moving pieces when putting the plan together. And that's why, you know, Brandon is absolutely right. You need to bring a whole team of experts together to look at all of the issues. You know, a lot of the challenges really focus around how do you set everybody up for success post-transition? So from the business perspective, how are you maximizing the value to make it as attractive as possible for that buyer? Are you considering what the management structure will look like? A lot of these business owners have been such key people in the business that you really have to think about, have we you know, positioned the key people that are going to be important through the transition and even after the transition? From the business owner standpoint, Brandon, you talked about monetizing the business. That's a real challenge, conversations that we have with business owners. What type of income do you want or need after this transition to support the lifestyle you want? And what will life look like? Are you sailing into retirement or are you looking for a new business endeavor? And then we consider the family as well. Are there spouses, family? family members that have been involved in the business or somehow might be impacted by the planning. Is this a process that takes several years to complete? It can be a short process, right? We've ran into a situation where the right buyer came to somebody and they said, yes, great deal. The offer is put on the table and we started running immediately. But in reality, I'd say the vast majority of the time, this is a long-term process. There's a lot of conversations. There's a lot of opportunities that come forward, a lot of discussion with not just us, but accountants, attorneys, and then those looking to come in. Because sometimes kids just don't want to be a part of this. And those are discussions where they want to stay at the business, but they don't want to be an owner. 
and now we have to work through that dynamic of you're no longer working for family. You're working for somebody else, but you're still there. A lot of moving parts. Yeah, I think good rule of thumb is, you know, people say maybe about five years before you're planning on exit, really get serious about the planning. And it's never too early to start. The worst exit plan is when somebody dies before they've even thought about what that succession is going to look like. I guess one thing to anticipate is a sudden influx of personal capital after a transition. We're ready to help with that. Yeah, and that's where the investment team and I, that monitor monetization of a business becomes so important is they have a lifestyle that they've grown accustomed to. And maybe it's because it's taken 25 years, 30 years, they built this incredibly successful business that generates a great amount of income. All right, how do we take the assets that just came in and after paying all the taxes, because yes, you'll have to pay taxes. Do we recreate as best as we can that solution? Or as Amy alluded to, a lot of business owners go back out and try and start another business or they, they already have another business they're involved in. They get wrapped up in that and then they grow it because they were successful once, a lot of times they're going to be very successful again. Amy Kiskala, wealth strategist, estate planning attorney at Annex Wealth Management. Thank you. Thanks, Danny. And Brandon Lehman, director of Annex Private Client. Thank you. Danny.